Hey guys, it's Jen and I create crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom decal on my Argo. You can make a decal for anything. A lawnmower, your car, your bike, whatever you want. Even your amphibious six-wheeler. I made these for my husband when we cleaned his garage out. So we know exactly where his tools go. Just vinyl to label all of our bins. We created several signs last year. Some of them were made from vinyl, some of them were just painted. But everything's made in my Cricut with Photoshop. Every month we do a craft bundle giveaway. It only takes 20 seconds to enter. Visit iCreateCrafts.com and click on the giveaway. So the first thing I want to do is measure it to know how big I want to have it. So it's approximately a foot by 11. But you don't want to have the whole image over your whole thing overlapping anything. So I'm going to go a little bit smaller. So I'm going to do about 10 by 10 so it'll be even on both sides. So now I'm in Photoshop. For more advanced projects, I like to use Photoshop. And then pull it all into Cricut Design Space. So here's a template that I used last year to make a sign. I purchased the trees off of Etsy. But to get the Argo image, I went to Argo.com, saved the image, and put it into Photoshop. As you can see, the Argo image does not match my design, so I'm going to go in and change the Argo letters to match the green and get rid of the background. I'm using the Quick Selection tool to remove the background. Now I'm just cleaning up some details. Now that everything's done, I'm going to export it into a PNG file and transfer it into my Cricut Design Space. So here's my image. And I already measured it, so I know it's a 10 by 10. So you want to unlock it and change it to 10 by 10. And there's the image, all ready to go. So it's already attached in all one piece, so I just have to click Make It. Mm -hmm. So I'm using Oracle 651 vinyl, um, 651 sticks better and it's for seven years. You can also use 631 if you don't want it permanent, but the next step is just to put it on your mat. And then the next thing is, is just to weed it all very carefully. So I just start at the top here and work my way down. Okay, so then after you put your transfer tape on, you just carefully peel back the plastic sheet. Next comes the critical part, I guess, 
kind of want to see where you're going to put it before you lay it down all the way. I highly recommend getting one of these if you don't have them already. I purchased a whole kit off of Amazon. I leave the link in the description below. Just want to really hard press on it. And make sure you get all the bubbles out. And peel back the transfer tape very slowly, making sure that the vinyl stays behind. If you don't want to make this yourself, click the link below and I can custom make any sticker that you want.